Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be tackling a question that I've seen in the Discord and truthfully something I've never been able to find a good answer for. Like some of these valued community members have suggested, does second wind scale with buff duration? And truthfully, when I began this little journey, I was trying to find a way to make willpower work on fighter as I was assuming there has to be a reason why a visored Barbuda has plus two will. It's gonna be worth something. Then I start questioning, well maybe I can increase the duration of something like Breakthrough or Sprint, Adrenaline Rush, Second Wind. Does it even apply to Second Wind? And how does it all work? Is there potential to survive a couple Curse of Pains because the damage doesn't tick quite as long with negative debuff duration? Is there any point at all to run Will on the Fighter class? Another reason why I was trying Willpower to at least force it to be useful is the fact that you do get some magic resist from it. We'll talk about that at the end as I offer a few suggestions on whether or not Willpower is actually worth anything on a high MR Fighter build. So right here we're going to be seeing debuff duration and negative debuff duration. I'm just basically observing how much it's actually doing at 10% or in this instance, minus 9% debuff duration. So, seeing side by side, and the one on the right obviously ended a little bit later, which is what we we're expecting. Now, what's this actually doing? So we're gonna slow this down and see how many ticks of damage we take on each side, basically comparing whether or not Curse of Pain or any other type of debuff, if there's a threshold somewhere, you may be able to survive a little bit more. Now, I'm not super rich, I already wasted way too much money on doing this, but as you just saw, there was one extra tick on the right rather than the left. So even at minus 9%, we are taking one tick less over that short debuff duration. It would be very interesting to see what Curse of Pain would do if I had someone to test it on. Now, looking at buff duration, one thing is pretty clear, 10% buff duration means things last 10% longer. So something like Sprint doesn't really get you any benefit because it's only six seconds to begin with. And we'll talk about it at the end. The only way to really get any value from buff duration on Sprint is if you take items with buff duration. Same is not really true for Second Wind. Second Wind is a whole different monster that took me a while to kind of figure out what was going on. So, as you saw, buff duration actually extended Second Wind's duration. We're going to slow this down and show you what happens. So 10% buff duration on the left, 0% buff duration on the right, my level one fighter. And essentially what's happening is the duration of second wind is spaced out and it's healing you for a little bit longer, but you're still always getting that 50% HP. And at first I had a whole bunch of variables in here I was trying to figure out, but you're gonna notice the one on the left has an extra tick at the end. And I thought, well, geez, maybe I'm getting some benefit from this. Perhaps I'm getting an extra tick of HP, the longer I extend second wind. But what was happening was just buff duration and you'll see this is what I was using. This is my setup and I had a little bit of strength here, giving me 104 HP. So that may have thrown things off a little bit, but I still think, and I'm about to prove it, that all buff duration is doing or willpower is doing is extending second wind's duration meaning you actually get less per tick. And we're gonna try this out. So I jumped into Goblin Caves on my level one guy again, took some damage. And the goal here is to figure out how much we're getting back per tick second wind. And I truthfully spent a long time believing it was four per tick. Meaning if I was 100 HP, I was getting 48 HP back over 12 seconds. So four HP per second. What you're gonna notice here in just a second, it goes from 70 to 75 meaning random instances, it will give you five HP per second. So that basically threw that whole theory out the window that if I extended the duration, maybe I was letting it have an extra tick, which was giving me four more HP. As you can see here, it also gives me four, and if you're quick and can notice it, it does bounce by five when I have 104 HP as well. So really, HP doesn't matter, you're getting your 50%, and it's basically picking and choosing. So I jumped in once again to Goblin Caves with a fighter class with 104 HP just to make sure this was making sense. And as you're seeing, it's actually bouncing back and forth. The odd time it's giving me 4 HP, the odd time it's giving me 5 HP. But at the end of this, 
I end up getting 52 HP. Exactly half. So, I truthfully don't believe buff duration is doing anything for Second Wind. If anything, it's actually making Second Wind worse, meaning it has more time to kind of give you that 4 or 5 bump of HP. So you're almost better off if there's a way to go negative buff duration, making Second Wind come out quicker and giving you more HP per tick. So, that is just my quick little study on this stuff. Like I said, this was me doing everything I could to try to find a magic resist build. Like you're seeing here, I have a pretty decent, pretty decent setup now and something I'm kind of excited to try a little bit more. I certainly won't be stacking willpower as I think it's essentially useless on fighter class. But if you hunt down enough rings with magic resist and a torque to soul, a barbuda helm, rugged boots, you can get almost 40 magic resist in greens and blues. Now, whether or not you want to use Regal or Dark Plates, up to you. I prefer Regal just because I like being fast as a solo, which is why I have these Agi Pants on that have plus 14 Magic Resist. And this is just quickly showing you what Willpower is doing to your Magic Resist. Essentially, later on in the chart, it's giving you basically maybe one Magic Resist, sometimes even less than that. And it's way better getting even a plus 6 Magic Resist ring or reduction in magical damage percentage just flat on rings. So, back to buff duration. I've seen some people talk about making sprint a lot longer, and the only way to really do that feasibly is to take legitimate plus percent buff duration on weapons like this halberd or these gloves, because that is the only way you're going to increase it enough to have any sort of effect on sprint. Now my fear is you'd actually be reducing benefit from second wind because you'd be delaying your heals over a period of time. It's very strange. I'm not entirely sure everything I've found here is 100% correct, but it has me a little bit confused as like, why can't we stack some way, stack buff duration or at least willpower on fighter class? Maybe it needs to do a little bit more magic resist, but that would probably buff clerics. So it's kind of a dead stat, in my opinion. There's really no point for willpower to be on the fighter class, you're getting bonus health from strength, making second wind tick a little bit faster because it's trying to keep up to that 50% where it needs to be. So I don't see why you'd ever touch will, why we have a helmet that has will on it, and maybe we'll get an armament that doesn't have resourcefulness on it. Because currently, the only helmet that's really worth taking on any magic is builds Barbuda, which is somewhat useful, even though the armor rating isn't great, or you sacrifice magic resist, movement speed, or the hoon skull, or hound skull. It's just not great options. And then, alternatively, you want to run Slayer, you are using the exact same gear every other class has access to. And you can only take a leather cap. So there's absolutely no way to build any sort of magic resist or anything exciting on Slayer, other than just a little bit of strength from a padded tunic, maybe some HP from leather leggings, and then you're competing against classes that have the exact same gear. There's nothing differential about Fighter Slayer other than the fact that you do more damage with your main hand weapon. It's unfortunate, maybe in the future things will change, but I'm going to try Spear Fighter with Magic Resist a little bit more as you're seeing here. Truthfully, this is my willpower build and it felt, felt the exact same as not having any willpower. You do not notice any of those buff duration bonuses, even though you can spend a lot of money trying to stack willpower on Templar armor, leather leggings, and uh, the Barbuda. I guess that visored Barbuda helm is dirt cheap. Just to find a good one is rare because everyone knows they're absolutely of zero value. So no one sells them. So building willpower is, is trickier than I thought it would be. Finding rings that have willpower is kind of costly and they don't really provide nearly enough benefit so my advice to you all is just avoid it now in goblin caves i did run it like you're seeing here i did have some fun but i do think it's cursed because as you're about to see we're fighting this rogue he's getting a little closer than i would enjoy and after taking out that barbarian i seriously want to loot him try to get some of our money back this guy's gonna keep me cornered start just hammering me with molotovs. So, this is how to play fighter now. You basically 
rely purely on the crossbow. And if you ever do get the chance to melee uh, another person, it's very likely it's going to be a barbarian. It's not something you want to be in melee range of anyway. <laughs> it just feels so strange. Uh, range or mid-range damage is 85% of combat right now. Luckily, we get away from this Molotov. We're able to push this guy. He gets himself in a little bit of a, a little bit of a difficult situation on the elevator. And this may give us a chance to loot this guy down below to see just what he was rocking. Looks like someone actually turned that down, and I heard a blow corruption, so he just got smacked by blow corruption, which does not feel well. Truthfully, part of the reason why I want to do this was because blow corruption and trying to get some magic resistance. And as you're seeing here, something goes seriously wrong when I grab these items, so I lost all those rings. And I think I lost a pretty decent headpiece for the warlock. And I'm super confused. Like, I have space in my inventory. Uh, surgical kits aren't in the way. I can't move anything around. And then they appear in a different spot, and all that gear I just grabbed is lost. So not only is willpower fairly bad on fighter class, but it also seems to bug out your inventory. That's not entirely true. That's... I hope you don't take that seriously. I'm just showing you some of my experience using willpower in goblin caves. And if you're noticing, there's a lot of blue gear running around. Sadly, I lost two kits with 10% willpower, which cost a fair bit of money, as I was kind of messing around looking at buff durations and debuff durations. Smash this guy with the crossbow, and sure enough, he backs off. I was kind of hoping you'd hit me with the Curse of Pain so I could see and compare what it was doing. But it just never happened. I think this guy's going melee warlock, which is also very strong, just simply because blow corruption is wild. This guy also has what looks like a bunch of Molotovs. We do end up closing the distance here, which I think was maybe a bait. That cost him at least one stab in the face. And for whatever reason, I don't know what's going on in this lobby, but my character starts randomly blocking. So I feel like just in general, I was having some serious server problems here. I don't know if you guys get that bug as well, but it will randomly block or randomly use my second swing sometimes, depending on depending on maybe just the server. So in the end, this warlock doesn't actually ever use any anything on me. He did end up killing this rogue so we get some more loot to make up for the stuff we lost. And then at the end, we find a fighter guy who was somewhat willing to fight, but I still had I still had a lot of stuff I wanted to test and try out. So look. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on willpower, buff duration, negative, whatever, second wind sprint, and I'm really curious if any of you have stacked like 50% buff duration and just ran around with sprint endlessly. If you're doing that, don't take second wind. Maybe take adrenaline rush to make it last a little longer or something that actually has a duration that has a benefit to lasting longer. Thank you all. I'll see you guys all in the next video. I just wanted to share some of my discoveries with you. Cheers. Okay. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead.